So we're back in our host drawing.dwg file. And as you can see right now, we have a file referenced into our host drawing file. And that's our external references.dwg file. Now, the way that I can check that is go to the insert tab on the ribbon, up to the reference panel, click here to get the external references palette. And you can see there's my external references file there that I've referenced into my host drawing. If I select that now in the references palette, you can see it highlights in the drawing there as I select it. But more importantly, if I come down here, you can see the saved path is relative. That dot slash indicates that it is a relative path and that the external references .dwg file is in the same folder as the host drawing file. Now, basically what we can do here is we can change our path type. Now that doesn't mean that we're changing the path location. We're just changing the path type from relative to what they call absolute, which is the actual physical file path. It's very easy to do. You select the reference file, in this case external references, right click on it, change the path type and make it absolute. So when I click there, you'll see the path type is now that full path in the external references palette. And that's it. You haven't changed any locations of any files, any physical locations, for example. All you've done is made sure that AutoCAD is now using an absolute file path instead of a relative file path. And that's all you're doing there. You're just changing the path type. And all it does is it changes the readout there, as you can see, in the external references palette. It gives you the actual physical location of the file instead of that little dot slash the relative file path where the file is stored in the same folder as the host drawing.